there are people in that organization in and around the league who have questions about the direction of that franchise. Jamie Roots clearly was one of them. He was a part of the search process that basically blacked him out and discounted and ignored the words of the search firm that the organization paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for and in the end went with Nick Casario. Ultimately, after 20 years with the organization in which he made all their big business decisions, he decided to resign from his post, which I think is a reflection of the way that some people in that organization and some people around the league view that spot right now. And of course, this is mostly interesting to football fans today because of the impact that it has on the situation with Deshaun Watson, as D. Wood has gotten up with us early today, and we'll get to you in just a second. But, Jeff, let me come back to you here. Because the name everything keeps coming back to was the name Jack Easterby. Now, most football fans have probably right. never heard that name and certainly couldn't recognize a picture of his face. But he seems to have become the most important person in that organization and in that regard, maybe in the whole NFL right now, quickly. Who is he, and why is this so important? Well, his rise in the NFL, Greeny, is impressive. Whether you agree with the results of it is certainly a completely different conversation. But, like, this doesn't really happen. Consider the titles that he's held in his career. With the Kansas City Chiefs in 2011, he was the chaplain, the team chaplain. In New England from 2013 to 2018, he was the character coach. I mean, do these sound like titles of people who eventually – overcome, uh, become the, the face of an organization, which Easterby is quickly becoming in Houston? No, this doesn't happen. And what's most curious about it is all the people like Bill O'Brien, Brian Gaines, a former GM, uh, and now the president of the organization, uh, they're all being cast aside. Easterby is holding the ranks. So while uh, it's not a normal rise, it certainly, in many ways, is an impressive one. And it is that, but it's also an important one because it seems to be going <laughs> so badly. I mean, at minimum, so sideways in Houston that it has Deshaun Watson, Damian Woody, the most important player that franchise has ever had. And I think that's a reasonable thing to say. A 25-year-old superstar quarterback who just signed a huge contract, whatever it is, eight months ago, he, he is demanding to be let out of there. So, D. Wood, what do you make of the fact that now we have the team president resigning yesterday? Well, Greeny, I think it's just indicative of everything that's been going on with this organization for the past couple of years. You know, we've seen all the chatter, whether it's, you know, whether you're talking about, you know, J.J. Watt saying, you know, uh, how he apologized to Deshaun Watson for wasting this year and, and some of the key personnel that, that the Houston Texans have let go from Andre Johnson, who's a guy that, that you know, everyone knows is pretty quiet to come out and lambast the organization. That doesn't surprise me, but I will say with Deshaun Watson, as far as he's concerned, listen, kudos to him, because if I'm 25 and I'm a superstar with that type of contract, you know, I'm not trying to be saddled down with everything that's going on with that organization. This We're in the era of player empowerment right now. We've seen it in the NBA for a long time, and now it seems like it's seeping over into the National Football League, and, and these guys, they want to take control of their career. So Deshaun Watson seems to writing on the wall. And he's saying, I'm not going to be a part of this where I'm wasting my prime years in an organization that's in free fall. That's exactly right. And that is sort of a bigger picture look at where we are. And so, Mike Tannenbaum, if you're running the show down there in Houston, how would you imagine this is sitting and what do they have to be doing? Yeah, it all starts with Cal McNair. You know, Greeny, Deshaun Watson signed a contract six months ago. We're not talking about a year or two years ago. Mm -hmm. And remarkably, in six months, it went from a franchise record contract to now he won't even return the owner's calls. That is unacceptable, and it starts with the owner, and he has to ask himself in an honest, sober way, why am I going with Jack Easterby when I have Deshaun Watson, who's one of the 10 best players in our sport? He's young, he's high character, he's a great leader, he's under contract. That's what you want. We, there are people in this industry that spend decades trying to get Deshaun Watson. You do everything within reason and then some to make sure that he's happy and he's fulfilled. And D. Wood's right. This is about player empowerment and it starts with ownership. And Cal McNair is the only guy that can fix it. He has to move on from Jack Easterby and make sure that Deshaun Watson is there leading his franchise. And listen, this is starting to reverberate around the league. I mean, there's almost an air of radioactivity that right now surrounds that franchise. You hear it from other players. I think in free agency it becomes an impact. Something needs to be done there, and obviously the most important piece of it is the franchise quarterback. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.